Hi guys, probably the biggest problem with the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge is that the speakers are not loud. Now that is due to the waterproof design, but there is a way to make the sound a lot louder. If you install King ROM for your Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge, you can get your speaker sound just as loud as last year's Galaxy S6. So let's go do this baby. Hi guys, so I've got it running on both my Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Now for Galaxy S7 users, this ROM will turn your phone into an S7 Edge with all the S7 Edge features. It is because it's based on S7 Edge. Um, so this is also a great way to turn your Galaxy S7 into an S7 Edge. Now I will use one of the phones, the Galaxy S7 Edge, since both are the same. All right guys, so this is the King ROM and I've been actually daily driving it for about almost two weeks. And I really, really love it. Uh, everything is really, really solid. Now the number one thing this ROM does for you, uh, it gets the sound like super loud, all right? Um, I can't play any copyrighted music, but I can go ahead and play uh, one of my YouTube videos to show you how loud this is. Now, let me go ahead and show you my LG G5. You can see the Galaxy S7 Edge is now louder than my LG G5. Let me go ahead and play that video again. All right, you can see it's super loud. Uh, that is really cool. This ROM also comes with several different kernels to choose from, all right, uh, including stock. And for those of you who want a little bit of customization, this ROM also does offer customization through King Mod here. You'll be able to get some system UI mods here. You can enable the internet meter if you want to show uh, how much you're downloading, uploading. You can go ahead and use three minute battery uh, or you can use stock battery, you have option of that. You also have virtual buttons. I'm actually not sure what that is. Um, toggles per row. So let's say you wanna change that five to nine. Let me go ahead and hit this button. Go ahead and restart the system UI. And now I have a ton more toggles. Now that looks a little bit too crazy, so I'm gonna switch it back. Uh, let's go ahead and switch it back to like six, a few more. And then go ahead and restart the UI. All right, that looks a little better. So now I can have more toggles up at the top. That's kind of nifty. All right, you also get phone mods. Um, you can auto call record incoming and outgoing calls, or you can do it manually. Framework in general, well, nothing really there. Lock screen mods, you can enable custom carrier text. Uh, let's go ahead and see what it looks like now. All right, King ROM S7 Edge. You can go ahead and change that to whatever you want. I'm gonna change it to high on Android. It still says, um, you will have to restart the UI, of course. To actually make it, make it go. And boom shakalaka, baby. So you can really customize the phone, which is really nice. It's not a ton of mods, but it's still pretty cool. All right, you can change the lock screen clock, text color, hours, minutes, if you want. Uh, lock screen notifications, you can go ahead and change this to two max shown. Three is stock. Uh, this ROM is actually set to five, so you can actually see up to five. And also there's potato clock. You can go ahead and customize the colors. That's how I did it. And you'll be able to see the date of the month and also the time. And you can go ahead and add AM, PM, all that good stuff. Now, as far as performance, battery life, it's been very, very good. It's gonna be way better than stock. Well, not way better, maybe like 5%, 10%. Um, it's not gonna be any worse. Performance will be pretty good. The Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge both come with two extra custom kernels that you can try out. Now, let me go ahead and show you how to install this for both Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. Uh, of course, you'll have to have your phone rooted, and this is only for international Exynos versions of Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. Once you have Tor Recovery installed, power off. Um, go ahead and download the ROM file onto your phone. Here in Thailand right now, internet speeds are so slow, so I actually fail downloading on my phone. So go ahead and download on your computer because downloads on your computer are way more stable. And then copy the file over to your phone. Volume up, center home, and power. All right, when you see the logo, let go of the power button. Keep holding down the volume up and the center home. All right, when you see Team Win Recovery, we're gonna do a backup real quick. Go to backup, backup system. 
boot, data, EFS, very important, all right? Make sure you back up EFS. Go ahead and swipe uh, to back up. You can also select storage. You can go ahead and use an OTG cable and a flash drive or micro SD card. Um, so it won't back up to your internal storage. Once you have backed up, um, you will have to do a complete wipe. So go ahead and do a wipe. Uh, actually go to advanced, go to system, do a wipe. All right, once that's done, go back and do another wipe, swipe to factory reset, go back. Now you're gonna go ahead and install the King ROM S7 Edge, blah, blah, dot zip. Go ahead and install. This will give you an aroma installer, all right? Um, you'll have various options and part of the reason I'm showing you how to install it. All right, here we go. Go ahead and hit next, next. Um, go ahead and choose, if you have a Galaxy S7, go ahead and choose the first one. If you have an S7 an Edge, go ahead and choose the second one. Now for S7 Edge, it comes with three different kernels. Um, if you want stock, you can go ahead and choose stock. I've actually used Jesse kernel, which is very nice. I haven't used Super kernel. You can also choose Super kernel. Um, go ahead and try different ones. You can always reinstall without doing a wipe, and then you'll be able to try different ROMs, um, different features. All right, also systemless or system mode. I prefer system less mode for SU. Uh, modded system UI, I prefer that. And then go ahead and choose the correct CSC for your phone. Um, since I don't really care, I just set it to Italy. Uh, also Android and boot animations or ultralight Android boot animations. Now this is the speaker mod, enable dual speaker V16. This is a sound mod that's gonna make your sound much, much louder than your LG G5, uh, Galaxy S6, all that good stuff. I mean, this this is one feature I will install this ROM for, all right? Um, go ahead and hit next. You can go ahead and enable Mega Adblock if you play a lot of games. I don't prefer to use it because I'm a webmaster. I actually have to see where the ads are on my site, so I'm not gonna install it. Um, you can go ahead and remove any bloatware you don't want, such as uh, S-Voice, uh, S-Voice Italian, all this stuff. And also you can go ahead and remove any of these apps here if you want to remove. I just install all of them because they don't really bother me. Uh, but if you want to remove it, you can do it. There's extra tweaks here. You can see you can do as 3G signal and speed tweaks, battery saving tweaks, uh, camera quality tweaks. Oh, this can be cool. I would totally recommend that. Um, some of these other ones you can try. I didn't actually try uh, most of them there. And then go ahead and try the country. This is for your GPS. Um, I'm in Thailand right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose Thailand. Hit next, next, install, reboot, and you're good to go. Like I said, if you wanna try different kernel or different features because you don't like it, you can go ahead and rerun the Aroma installer without doing a wipe, and you won't have to uh, lose all your data. That's pretty much it, reboot. You should be on King ROM and enjoy the best of custom world. I mean, this is what's missing with the US carrier versions. Uh, the Qualcomm versions because you don't get any of this and I feel bad for US users. Um, just that sound mod completely changes how the S7 Edge works. Now my sound is louder than my LG G5, my Nexus 6P, even my HCC 10. I mean, this is great if you listen to music uh, while you walk your dock like myself and I really, really love it. All right, reboot and you should be good to go. If you end up in a boot loop for some reason, uh, maybe you didn't follow the directions in this video, go ahead and try exactly uh, the way I install it and I assure you it will boot for the first time. All right, that's pretty much it. I really love this ROM. Um, don't forget to donate to the developer of this ROM. I'll have donate links in the description. Really love it. King ROM, probably the best ROM you can install on the S7 or S7 Edge right now as of this video. And I'll be on the constant lookout uh, for new custom ROMs that are really cool. And that is actually the boot animation. And you can see uh, my phone's already starting, so everything's good to go. If you want more cool ROMs like this, um, go ahead and sign up for my email list at galaxys7root.com. That's where I have all the new ROMs and I will send out an email blast for those of you who wanna receive new ROMs whenever I update the site, all right? I don't really update it that much. Uh, probably like once a month. That way whenever cool stuff comes out like this, you can go ahead and make your phone better instead of being stuck with low sound on stock firmware. Screw that, yo. And thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up for me. Have a great day. And as always, stay on Android.
Hi! Click here to subscribe! Click here to subscribe!